terrifying time for a Lyft driver after she was carjacked. And tonight, 18 year old Tyrus Ernest is facing charges. WRG Shea Arthur spoke with the victim about her experience and the strange thing that she says Ernest told her during the crime. Tonight, a mother of two is recovering. Constantly hear his voice in my head replaying over and over. Left terrified, she's sharing her story. But due to safety concerns, we've altered her voice and aren't showing her face. She tells us she was driving for Lyft around 8.30 Sunday night. She was off Mississippi Boulevard when a man police now identify as 18-year-old Tyrus Ernest riding in her car pulled a gun on her, demanding money and her car. At one point, cocking the gun and threatening her. I just want to make it home to my kids. Please let me just go. But before letting her go, she says he talked about himself and what he's been through. Said that um, he wasn't always like that. He was held at gunpoint before he was robbed and carjacked, and it traumatized him. Driving for. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hey, man. Listen, I have a theory. You remember when, like, a couple years ago, I think it's called CERN or something. They fired off some cannon. They was afraid it was gonna like destroy the universe or some weirdo <laughs> shit like that. Do you think it altered people's minds? Like, yo, he's you, just paying it forward, man. <laughs> bro, right? You bleed it. It's the sub way of paying it forward, man. Wow, and man. that was a atomic collider. It wasn't a super gun. <laughs> well, whatever it was, I think it fucked up the wavelength of a lot of people. Like after that shit, shit has been bad, man. Dude, I used to think that alternate realities was bullshit, but now as fucked up as the world is, I, I I'm not. I'm with you. I think we might have slipped somewhere. Yeah, I think we fucked up. Some happened. Yeah, he he he. This is this is the sun. But I told you, man. Sons are bold and brazen. Like to say that to a person, like just just to fix your lips to say that, man. First of all, you, you called the goddamn call. lift. Yeah, it's just it's, it's yeah, and, and like don't you man, have a, some kind of personal information when you call and order yes. a call? Yes, <laughs> your, your account, location, your credit card, your account, your, your lift account. account. And if not fuck? yours, somebody else that's close to you. So it's like they can work that. The detectives can work that lead. It's just you know, the picture of him. The picture of him posing. The you know how they have the your picture on the lift profile. So the picture of him posing with his Glock should have been a tip off as far as picking him up. <laughs> Kids, please let me just go. But before letting her go, she says he talked about himself and what he's been through. Said that um, he wasn't always like that. He was held at that point before he was robbed and carjacked and it traumatized him. Driving for Lyft for the last six years, this woman says she's never had any problems. The extra money helps her family stay afloat. But now she's left too traumatized to continue, but she's glad to be alive. And that's where I am grateful and thankful that I was able to um, walk away alive, but it just seems like that's when I break down more thinking that I was lucky some people aren't. She says she will move on with her life, but has this advice for others when using a rideshare company. Be vigilant and cautious. In South Memphis, Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Now, a spokesperson with Lyft told us in a statement the behavior described is unacceptable and has no place in our community. The rider has been permanently <laughs> removed from the Lyft <laughs> platform. Oh, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> Listen. So the wor wait a minute. He has. So the worst they could do to him is is <laughs> remove his account. So don't worry. He's banned. Yeah. He's don't to, worry. He stuck a gun in her face, but he's the victim. Don't he's worry. Have, he will be out. To use, in no, he's three gonna have weeks. to use Uber from now on. He can't use Lyft. He's gonna have to go. To yeah, Uber. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what these motherfuckers be talking about, man? I don't show that. Crazy. Oh my God, man. Um, it just it's. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ. Terrifying moments on the University of Memphis campus Tuesday. A teen is accused of sneaking into a student's dorm and cutting him with a knife. <laughs> I mean, like, bro, brazen. <laughs> what? Hold on. You, all right, all right. New, play the story. Fuck this shit. This is insane. Just cut a nigga. It's just it's it's it never ends, man. Never I mean, ends, bro. 
And there's all the programs, all the same programs I highlighted in Chicago. They have all that in Memphis. It's all free. It's just, this is just how we are, man. With a knife. Good afternoon, I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. WREG's Marcus Hunter spoke with a student who lives in the dorm where the attack happened. According to Memphis police, 19-year-old Caleb Stewart lied to a U of M employee to gain access to a dorm room inside the living learning complex on campus. Once inside, he waited for the victim. When he arrived, Stewart reportedly ambushed him with a knife. The victim was able to fight back before being cut on the left side of his face. Other students heard the attack and rushed to help the victim. With the semester nearly over, some students say this news has them on edge. This finals week, I'm trying to focus on my finals, but ever since I heard that news, I'm scared. Students say before this latest this incident, they course. felt the university was making progress when it comes to student safety. They also install a bunch of these emergency camera things, and so you just press them, like if you're by campus, and they did a great job by making the campus more lit, you know what I'm saying? So all that stuff contributing to, like, the student safety, but it's just, you know, sometimes you... Some stuff is out of your. So they country. bought, uh, they bought the blue light special thing from Kmart when they went out of business. Is that what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is this is it's nothing you can do, man. Like yeah. this guy, this guy obviously had beef with this this this. Student. Yeah, that was, yeah. He wanted that. He wanted oh. buddy. And if yeah. they didn't let him in that building, they'd have been accused of racism and everything else. Oh, he's, yeah. he's gonna catch. He's gonna catch him one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. he was gonna see about him regardless. Your control. We spoke to students who say they are surprised that someone was able to lie their way into the dorm. That is scary. And then for them to get a knife and insult them, that's even like, that's terrifying. Because I thought it was impossible to even just get in them dorms because it's hard. <laughs> and this mammy yeah. bitch was out protesting last week. Well, listen, she's about to graduate and run something. Yeah. She, she to get in there. She got the right to vote too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that good shit. Yeah, she a strong, educated black woman. <laughs> like that's terrifying because it's. I thought it was impossible to even just get in them dorms because it's hard for guests to get in. One student who lives in the dorm where the alleged attack happened says it is possible for someone who is not a student to gain access. I mean, we got to swipe at almost every door in order to get in. But I mean, it's still able to get inside pretty easy. Somebody can easily open the door for you. Stewart was taken into custody there where he go. admitted I'm attack. Mad. He also told police he slashed the tires on the victim's pickup truck and broke one of his windows while it was parked on campus. Oh, yeah, this is Did he knock down his old lady? Yeah, this is personal, personal. Yeah, no, no, it don't shit. have to be that deep. It could have been like he just, he said some shit on IG or said something on, 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 on right. Twitter or something. Looked yeah, at him tires and shit. That's right. He said, come to my location. Drop my location or yeah. something like that. Whatever you said. Yeah. Maybe said. He could have said something pulling up in the truck. Yeah, this Cut guy, him yeah. off in traffic. Exactly. It's like this this guy, this guy, it don't have to be real deep to um for a sudden man. Um to, to, to I feel like that does happen, but it doesn't it's not a reflection of University of Memphis. It's just sometimes people get agitated and they do stuff in the wrong place at the wrong time. Me personally, I feel safe. I haven't really been seeing anything. I've been hearing a lot of stories, but me personally, I haven't experienced anything. At the University of Memphis, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. Caleb Stewart is being charged with aggravated burglary, aggravated assault, two counts of vandalism, filing a false offense report, and carrying a weapon on school property. Now, we did reach out to the university. They sent us a statement that says in part, quote, the safety and security of our students, faculty, and staff are paramount, and we are taking all appropriate measures. Mm. Yeah, they don't understand. If you follow the rules, of course it's going to be hard to get in. Yeah, exactly. If you, right. <laughs> if, if you decide that, you know what? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, like I'm here to see um, Jill. Um, can you sign the book, your name in the book? Okay. Can you wait right over there? Sure. I'll call Jill. Jill? Yeah, I mean, that guy, yeah, I mean, they don't understand. Criminals operate on a different frequency, man. Yeah. And it shouldn't be that fucking hard to figure that out. Like, they make it seem like that's rocket science. 
Yeah, like they just can't conceptualize that a criminal doesn't abide by rules. They're not going to do things the way the law intends for you to do them. 